Konnichiwa lads, today we have the Lost Judgment The Kaito Files review. Arigato gozaimasu. Lost Judgments from Sega and Ryuga Goku Studio was our game of the year last year. Um, Lost Judgment ended up being a very important game for Ryuga Goku to Studio for a new reasons. It was the first global simulator's multi-platform release of Yakuza Judgment series, the first to feature story DLC and also the first game developed under Yuga Goku Studio new structure. While the Lost Judgment season pass saw some DLC release around launch, the real draw for most was the Kaito File story expansion that hit PlayStation and Xbox file forms earlier this week. I've been playing it for this Lost Judgment, the Kaito Files review on both PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. There is a lot to love her, but also some annoyance that I will wish would be absent in potential future Judgment releases. Lost Judgment, the Kaito Files is set after the main story, but it doesn't have any obvious spoilers or major reference that to plot. This is good because it will allow players who just buy the bundle to take a break from Yagami main story to step into Kaito's shores for a bit. It is also considerably better than the Yakuza Kiwami 2 Majima side content available. Yagami is out of town and Kaito is offered a very interesting case that leads to him tracking down his old girlfriend. Without getting into any spoilers, the 6-7 to seven hour main story in this DLC has a lot of fantastic moments across the battles, boss fights, investigation, explosion and more. Two boss fights in particular are brilliant and the final was everything I had hoped for with Kaido. The DLC also shows the side of Kaito that we haven't full seen before including interesting flashbacks to his past and character development that sets him up. Uh, someone worthy to the front full game. The only aspects of the Kaito file story that I didn't like was Kaito in game model for the flashback moments. It looks too similar for current day Kaito model. There are of course other characters from Lost Judgment who appear in this DLC, but the focus is on Kaito and it provides he can be a superb lead for a You Got Got Go Studio game. The story and characters are that good here. When it comes to the gameplay, Lost Judgment the Kaito files includes some changes to chase sequences to fit Kaito into the picture. His combat styles there are excellent and some detective instincts that can upgrade through the in-game skill system allow you to find points of interest of items hidden across the Kamarucho. Kaito feels great in a combat and some of the larger encounters in Lost Judgment. The Kaito files is a sigh to behold with those ton of particle effects around his attacks. If you rush through the story without exploring for the collectibles and avoiding the optional stronger enemies, expect to finish Lost Judgment the Kaito Files is about 6 or 7 hours or normally difficulty. It will be shorter if you play on easy modes. I spent a little over 8 hours to complete almost everything it has to offer, including the new trophies added. There is nothing major left once you complete the game bearing the few collectibles you might not have found during the main story. I've played through the Kaito files on PS5 with the English voice option and have been replaying on Xbox with the Japanese voice acting. Both voices options are excellent. From the English voice acting option, Chris Freeman did a fantastic job here as the Kaito once again and this is how my favorite role of even about his voice in a Winston Overwatch. Susie Young who played Yuffie in Final Fantasy VII, remixing Greg voices Miku in the DLC was a highlight. As with the Judgment and Lost Judgment, you will still have some NPC and grunt in combat speaking in Japanese or greeting you even with a peak English voice option. I hope the next Ryuga Koto game ends English for these voiceovers or let us disable them because they still don't feel right with the English voice option selected. The Japanese voices are excellent as you expect from the direction in the past games. Anyway. On PS5 Lost Judgment, the Kato Files has a dual sense features like haptic feedback during exploration and combat, with every light use of adaptive triggers during cell segments. There is sadly no activity card to jump into the Kato Files directly from the dashboard of the console. The visual options are the same as the base game with the normal mode offering a 60fps 
uh, target while the resolution or quality mode upping imaging Xbox Series X in my second playthrough. It's hard to go back to the 30 FPS in Ryu God Auto Store for for brawlers for sure. I lost my thoughts. Anyway, mm. the release is the standalone price at 30 bucks for the K2 files. You better off just grabbing the complete season pass for the school stories at Detective Essentials. But those are more worth if you use them while playing the main game. Last judgment, the Kaito files doesn't include any side cases or premium adventure like the main game. So you get prompt to save or do a backup save before heading to the final of the DLC story if you want to return to it and finish off any of the other side content. The season pass itself is worth if those will have yet to play Lost Judgment, but 30 bucks for there's the Kate files, it's a bit more expensive than it should be. I would definitely recommend the Lost Judgment Digital Experience Ultimate Edition bundle for any newcomer because it offers fantastic value and seen a few discounts. My biggest problem with the Lost Judgment Decatur files gameplay are to do with the stealth and tailing sequences. There is one particular tailing mission in the middle that is way too long. On stealth section there will end was annoying with it throwing you to the start of you get detected. Having access to some of the usual minigames is nice, but I was really hoping we'd see some specific to do DLC added like a new minigame or even a karaoke song or two. Lost Judgment The Kaito Files is the first steel dolly DLC from Ryuga Go to Studio for any game and it delivers almost every way. The main game narrative was super late. The K2 DLC phase provides the Ryaga go to studio, future is in good hands. While this DLC should be an ever kept it on its own, combined with the other content is the season pass. It is well worth grabbing for any fan of Judgment and its characters. I hope we don't have to wait too long for another Judgment and would love to see a full release of Kato as the lead. Thanks. Bye.